The next 14 hours are going to be absolutely ridiculous. So what's happening in the next 14 hours? The goal is to perform a skydive during the moment of totality of the complete solar eclipse that's going to be passing across the United States. There's a two minute and 31 second window where the world will go completely dark in the specific zone of the United States called the path of totality. So the idea is to get a helicopter to 14,000 feet, perform a skydive in which the world will go from completely bright to dark to completely bright again. Apparently it's a crazy phenomenon. I've been watching some YouTube videos, but anyway, let's take a step back. I am currently on the North shore of Oahu, sitting in some terrible Sunday evening traffic, trying to get to the airport, where I will be overnighting on a red eye to Salt Lake City, where my good friend, legendary human, an expert R66 helicopter pilot, York Gallen, also known as I Fly Heli on social media. You guys should check him out because he posts some ridiculously rad content. He's gonna be picking me up. I'll be meeting up with Abe Kisselmitz, my good friend from college, and York's daughter, who's a his camera operator. Lots of variables. Yes, I'm nervous. Yes, I'm actually, frankly, just scared because I don't know what a total eclipse looks like. Jumping out of a helicopter is always nerve wracking. We have a bunch of GoPros, a bunch of cameras. It's all coming together super last minute. I booked my flights yesterday for this whole thing. I forgot, before we move on to the airport, I wanted to show you guys what it takes to do a stunt like this. So let's go back to my room. I just wanted to show you some of the equipment that I'm bringing along for this stunt activity, skydive, serious once in a lifetime opportunity. Yes, that was an ambulance. Yes, I'm vlogging while I'm driving. It's in traffic. I know that doesn't excuse myself. I'll try not to do this ever again. Sorry, mom, if you're watching. I'm rambling. Let's just go to my room and check out the equipment, all right? I'm just kidding. I just need to be quiet, all right? I'll see you guys in a second. Let's go look at the gear, because we all love equipment. So, I just got this brand new backpack from Wandred. It is phenomenal. We're gonna do this quick and dirty so we can get on with the show. I've got this little suitcase. It has my laptop with chargers hard drives and all of my ditting, which is digital ingest. So that's how I get all of my media from my cameras onto my computer and edit it for you guys quickly. This is an awesome camera bag. Thank you guys at Wandry for sending this over. It has an integrated cube. I have GoPro batteries, camera batteries. I got this new fancy 100 by 400 meter lens that I just shot for the first time today. I'm very excited to get future shots of that. You know what, actually, I have light, so why don't I just artificially light this? I've got another nice portrait lens right here. I've got three Hero 5 GoPros charger. These are gonna be going on my helmet, on my hand, and on maybe the helicopter or my foot. We have some clothes in here. It's gonna be super cold, so I've got sweatshirts, pants, and Joby, which I got quick access to. Let's put this back over here. This zips up. Nice and ready for the plane. More importantly, what do we got for the skydiving rig? Got my name on it. All fancy schmancy. Only took seven months. Got an altimeter. Here a five case. And a toothpaste because I'm going to be red eyeing back tomorrow night. So. And of course, the hot pink skydiving helmet because in a sport of testosterone, you need to have a pink skydiving helmet. That was super quick and dirty. Update from the airport. I actually haven't been given a seat yet and they have completely boarded the airplanes. I'm on standby even though I spent an arm and a leg for this seat. They kind of assured me that I would get a seat. They just are gonna give me the last one. I'm actually gonna edit some of this footage on the plane so then I get the skydive footage and then just drop it into the timeline and get this vlog out as quick as possible because I would hate to not edit this vlog right away. And then the total eclipse is totally 2017. I will see you guys in Utah. Long red eye flight, but it's pretty miraculous so you can cross the Pacific Ocean in six hours. I'm looking for Margie, who's supposedly picking me up. She said look for a black vehicle. Here she is. Nice. Hi, man. I'm Chris. I'm Colin. Nice to meet you. How's it going, Marky? I'm going to throw your stuff in the yeah. back. Yeah. Nice car, you guys. 
We'll be nice and eco-friendly until we go burn some jet fuel. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give a little take a little. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Thanks for coming to grab me. Where's that? Hey, we're used to it. That's what we do. <laughs> <laughs> I take it I don't have to do anything to make those clothes. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Exactly. This thing's like a spaceship. If you got no traffic and you're in a Tesla, it's like 30 minutes. Do we have traffic? Um, no, I'd say no. And we're in a Tesla. And we're in a Tesla. So 30 minutes. Yeah. And we're going inside. The Gallon Airport. Oh wow. This is the Gallon Airport? Yep. Is this your guys' jet? Come. Possibly. Come on. <laughs> York! Good morning! How are you guys doing? Awesome. Wow, this is insane. I know. Yeah. It's a G650. So this is like G5s are so 2016. <laughs> wow. How are you doing? Get in here. A little Great bit. Great to see you, man. I had to fly Delta. Oh, man. That's for you. No first class for me. Wow, this is incredible. You always told me about all the toys. I was wondering where they, they were. This is where they are. we got to introduce Abraham because he hasn't been in the vlog yet. Wow. He's one Finally. of my best friends from college. You guys, if you guys follow me at all, you know exactly who Abe is. He's the man, the myth, the legend. Uh, and we're super excited to do this together. Margie's like doing all this hard stuff while we're just running around filming. This is legendary York. He's the one that's gonna be flying the R66. I've had the pleasure of doing a couple jumps with you. Yeah, several. And a We've couple had some of exciting flights. Times. Every time we hang out, it's really, really rad. Yeah, I got back from a trip in Alaska late last night. I haven't shaved, but my skills are right on. <laughs> and your breath smells good because you just had that mint. All right. I don't know if I can say the same. <laughs> All right, we're going to go run into some of the toys here. Come on, Abraham. Duck the wing. I feel like it's probably bad for him. Duck the wing. <laughs> oh, wow. This is a G6. Of course. Pretty insane. Wow. Wow, this thing is huge. <laughs> this is pretty epic. Hard work pays off. I like how you got slippers. Back into the real world. We could seriously spend all day in here. So this is the chariot for the day. We got Margie in the front, man in the big camera. Oh, you also got a little Sony too. Nice. So there's a lot of glass in this uh, yeah. in this helicopter right now. We got a lot of lenses. This is the chariot. It's an R66. This thing is going to take us up to 14,000 feet above sea level, pretty easily actually. We have three hours until the total eclipse, and we have a two-hour and 15-minute flight where we got to rig the camera, get on skydiving rigs, yada yada. Private jets totally interrupting my B-roll over here. somewhere in Idaho and we're heading up north to where totality exists so we can see the eclipse at totality and then jump out of the helicopter. We've got 90 minutes until the sky gets dark. We're taking off the doors, getting fuel. We got a really fast turnaround here. It's a light door. You just hold like a suitcase if you want even. Oh, oh, Super yeah. light. I was expecting it to be heavy. Wait, Let's wait, put on ready? some parachutes. We got to get this show on the road. This is by Oakley. They only made 30 pairs. So you can stare directly Oh, it started. At... Is it? Oh my God. Is it actually? Oh, wow. Camera off. You need to try this. Oh my gosh. It has started. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? Perfect. Look at the sun. Oh. 
We gotta hurry. Yeah, we gotta go. Almost. Abe's got every piece of camera equipment you can think of. <laughs> He's got a gimbal rigged to his SLR, an extra gimbal, another SLR with a different lens. We've got suction cup, suction cup. I've got a camera on my helmet right here. Got one on my wrist. 7K, right? Yeah. It's getting spicy. That's the coolest sound, right? I'm gonna turn this off now so we can actually pay attention and focus. Um, see you guys in the sky from all the different angles. <laughs>